Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biomed at Prachi. Today I am going to list out IC equipments and their uses. Without delay, we will start. Before starting, please subscribe to my channel Biomed at Prachi and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notification for every new video. Uh, so I have categorized into two types of IC equipments. First is general IC equipment, second is life-saving IC equipments. Under general IC equipments, there are 10 equipments which are patient monitor, ECG machine, laryngoscope set, X-ray machine, syringe pump, infusion pump, ICU bed, central monitor, dialysis machine and portable ultrasound machine. So let's know more about uses of these equipments. First is patient monitor. Patient monitor shows vital parameter of patient on screen continuously. Parameters are SPO2, NIBP, ECG, pulse rate, respiratory rate, temperature and ETCO2. Any significant changes in parameter makes monitor to alarm to get attention of clinical staff. Second is central monitor. Number of patient monitors information gathered at central monitor which is continuously gets noticed by nursing staff or ICU doctor sitting at central station. Third is ECG machine. Monitoring and keeping record of cardiac rhythm of ICU patient on daily basis is an important task. To ease the task, ECG machine is also compulsory in ICU. Then the laryngoscope set. Laryngoscope set are used for examination of larynx and inside area of the mouth. X-ray machine. For ICU patient, it is not possible every time or easy to get the patient to radiology for X-ray procedure. Sometimes some patients need frequent X-ray procedures. So for ease purpose, portable X-ray machine becomes compulsory for ICU ward. Then the sixth equipment is portable ultrasound machine. Like X-ray, some bedridden patients need frequent ultrasonic examination to achieve the report faster and at the patient site only, portable ultrasound machine is used and is must to keep in ICU. Then the seventh equipment is syringe pump. Most of the ICU patients require continuous dosage of medication with high precision. To meet the purpose, syringe pump is used then infusion pump for precise dose and speed of medicine through saline bottle infusion pump is used. Then ninth equipment is ICU bed. ICU patients are generally dependent on staff nurse, doctors or helpers. Also for different treatment in ICU, most of the time a patient needs precise positioning and for comfort point of view, ICU patient needs specialized ICU bed. Tenth is dialysis machine. Some patients in ICU may facing kidney failure illness. For that purpose, dialysis facility becomes necessary. So the dialysis machine is also an important one to keep in ICU. Okay, now this is the list for life saving equipment. First is ventilator, second is defibrillator, AED, portable ventilator and then suction machine. One by one, I will explain uses of them. First is ventilator. As we know, breath is the base of our life. So, patients in ICU who aren't able to breathe themselves or with diseased lungs are supported with ventilator. Ventilator is used to give breath with natural and suitable cycle for patient and assures enough quantity of oxygen in lungs. Without ventilator, such patients cannot survive. That's why ventilator is the topmost demanded equipment in ICU ward. Second is defibrillator. Many weak-hearted patients get admitted in ICU. Also, patients with many health complications like BP, kidney failure, trauma or with disturbed metabolism may come across a cardiac arrest. For quick life support, defibrillator is used to give shock and restore the natural rhythm of patient's heart. Third is AED. AED is Automatic Emergency Defibrillator. Difference between defibrillator and AED is AED can be used by any walk-in person or any non-clinical staff too. Fourth is Portable Ventilator. Sometimes situations come when patients who are on breath su breathing support need to shift from one department to another one. During transportation period, Portable Ventilator provides breathing support to patients. Fifth is Suction Machine. Though it is not much complicated system, but in case of or in situation of aspiration, excess secretion 
inside the patient airway suctioning is performed so the suction machine is also an life saving equipment so in this way i have tried to cover most icu equipments if you want to know more about these equipments please go to my channel biomed at prachi then please comment in comment box if you like this video please like and share thank you so much for watching till the end next time we will cover something new till that keep learning do your best bye bye